Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome to Math Class. Today's topic is transformation to straight line form. We're going to look at how to change nonlinear graphs into linear form. And the reason you want to be able to do this is because sometimes it's easier to analyze data in linear form than it is in nonlinear form. Let's begin with the function y equals 2x squared plus 1. If I want to plot this curve with a few inputs, I can calculate a few outputs and then plot my curve. So let's use x values of 0, 1, and 2 to create outputs or y values of 1 for an x value of 0 and 3 for an x value of y, x value of 1 and 9 for an x value of 2. And if I graph this curve, I'll see, as I already realized given the exponent attached to the variable x, that I'm going to have a curve, not a line. And that is y equals 2x plus 1. Now I can change this into a, a linear relationship by changing what are the x and y axes representing? Now I'm going to keep the y axis as it is y, but I'm going to change the x axis to x squared. Now let's look at what our inputs are going to be for our x values once we square them. Using the same data, the three x values squared are going to be 0, 1 and 4. The first two are the same simply because of exponent rules and the properties of 0 and 1. But now I've transformed the x-axis variable or the horizontal axis variable from x to x squared and notice the value x equals 2 has an equivalent x squared value of 4. Now my y's are the same. I'm not changing the vertical axis variable. That stays as y. So those points continue to be 1, 3, and 9. And now if I plot these three points, looking on the x-axis, I want to go from 0 to 4. And on the y-axis, I want to go from 1 to 9. So I'll plot these three points, 0, 1, and 1, 3, and 4, 9. And now I can connect these as a line. And notice that while in the curve, the line continues in both directions upward, the line in the transformation is only continuing in one direction. I don't go into negative x values because the horizontal axis is x squared and so there is no x squared input that is negative. x squared is greater than or equal to 0 because any x value I input into x squared it becomes 0 or a positive value. So notice the change in evaluating the transformation. I don't have any negative values for the variable represented on the horizontal axis, which is x squared. Now, in the case of the data that we've been given, or the direction I've given you to plot x squared in relation to y, if I'm given that relationship and I don't know the line equation, I can create the line equation using my slope-intercept line formula, which is y minus y1 equals slope times x minus x1. Now I know already the equation is y equals 2x squared plus 1, but I want to see if I can get to that equation based on the data in the lower left corner of the screen because sometimes I'm not given the equation. Rather, I need to be able to derive the equation. Let's start by calculating m. Now normally m is change in y over change in x. In this case, 
it's going to be change in y over change in x squared. So if we take any two of our points, we can take the first two points. The y values are 1 and 3. 1 minus 3. And the x values are 0 and 1. 0 minus 1. And this will simplify to negative 2 over negative 1, which equals 2. So the slope of the linear relationship is 2. And notice that in my denominator, I've calculated the difference of an x squared value minus an x squared value, because I'm looking at the linear relationship. Let me use the same, go up to my line equation and make the same notation. I'm looking at x squared values in this case. And so now continuing with that line equation, y minus y1, I need to select one of my points on the line, and I'll use the point zero, 01 to continue with my work. y minus the y1 value is 1, y minus 1 equals the slope of 2, which we've calculated, times x squared minus the x squared value in the point we've selected, which is 0. So x squared minus 0. And I'll simplify to y minus 1 equals 2x squared minus 2 times 0, which of course is 0. And if I add 1 to both sides, y equals 2x squared plus 1. And notice that this is... the correct equation, which we already knew the correct equation, but again, you want to be able to derive that equation as we've done using the slope-intercept formula for the line, as well as the formula for calculation of slope, given the linear relationship. In our case, that linear relationship is a transformation to x squared as the input value and y as the output value. So here's one example of a transformation of a nonlinear relationship into a linear relationship. We've changed x to x squared because the original relationship had a y and x squared relationship. Okay, let's look at another example. In this example, we're going to keep the horizontal axis as x and we'll change the vertical axis to the natural log of y. And in this graph, we have a line given with two points. One is 3, 3, and one is 5, 4. And what we want to do is create a linear equation based on the relationship between x and natural log of y, and then go from there to calculate the direct relationship between the two variables. In other words, we'll start by deriving the linear equation, and then we'll transform from the linear or straight line form to the form that shows the direct relationship between the two variables. We'll start with our linear equation. So in this case, y minus y1 is going to be the natural log of y minus the natural log of y1 equals slope times x minus x1. Now let's calculate the slope. And our slope here will be the change in vertical movement over the change in horizontal movement. So we will have natural log y1 minus natural log y2 over x1 minus x2. And we have two points. The y values are 3 and 4. 3 minus 4, or, or the, the vertical axis values, natural log of y values, are 3 and 4. And the x values are 3 and 5. 3 minus 4 over 3 minus 5 equals negative 1 over negative 2, giving us a slope of 1 half. And now I can input values into the slope-intercept equation. Natural log of y 
minus, I'll use the first point, 3, 3. So my y input, or natural log of y input, is 3. Natural log of y minus 3 equals slope of 1 half times x minus my x input in that first point. The x value is 3, so I have x minus 3. And simplifying, I have natural log of y equals, I'll do two steps at once here, 1 half x minus 3 halves. And this minus 3 that's on the left side of the equation, I'm going to add 3 to both sides to end up with plus 3. And our final simplification step, natural log of y equals 1 half x. Negative 3 halves plus 3 is positive 3 over 2. So we have the equation for the relationship between natural log of y and x. And now I want the equation for y in terms of x. In other words, let's go from natural log of y to y. And I'll use my logarithm and exponent relationships to do so. So the natural log of y... We're dealing with a base of e, and the result of the logarithmic equation is the exponent of e. 1 half x plus 3 halves, which is equal to the value from the logarithmic equation of y. And for formatting purposes, I'll finalize to y equals e to the power of 3 halves plus 1 half x. In this video, we've looked at two examples of analyzing linear relationships to arrive at the underlying nonlinear function. And in the next video, we'll learn how to take a nonlinear function and transform it into a linear relationship.